Hey everyone, this is Darren Sachs here, double bass player and double bass teacher in Boston, Massachusetts. Hope you're all having a great day today. For those of you who are not familiar with who I am or what I do, uh, this is going to be an opportunity for me to share with you all a little bit about myself, why I chose the double bass, and how I progressed into the bass player and teacher that I am today. So I started playing the double bass in sophomore year of high school because we had just come back from a field trip to the Boston Symphony Orchestra playing Carmina Burana that night. And I was instantly inspired to pick up the bass the very next day. I still remember that feeling of being at Symphony Hall for the first time to this day. Everything, the fixtures, the statues, the elegance, um, the, it was pure magic, and more importantly, the acoustics and how the sound of the combined chorus and the orchestra filled the hall. Sometimes it felt like walls and the floors of the hall were shaking at times, uh, especially on the low notes. And I was literally at the edge of my seat, and I remember being shocked by the number of bass players in the orchestra. Uh, because in my high school orchestra, uh, there was only one bass player. But I learned that when I went to the Boston Symphony, there were actually eight bass players in an orchestra. And so, uh, you know... What I remember from that experience, I remember watching not only the level of finesse from these players, but I also remember distinctly, and it's, it's distinctly, and it still resonates with me today, even as I watch the orchestra now, the players just showed this level of engagement like no other. And watching a world-class symphony for the first time in my life uh, was a real eye-opener, uh, a very, it was an eye-opening experience. And so I decided to ask my orchestra director to try the double bass. Uh, the bass was in his office, and you know I just asked if I can work on it. And I started going through some beginner books for, by myself for a few months until I was able to get private lessons with a guy named Joe Messina in uh, Connecticut at the time. He was a bassist with the Hartford Symphony Orchestra. And Joe Messina was a terrific teacher, and he'd helped me to win my uh, All-State Festival audition when I was in high school. And he also helped me to nail my undergrad audition for uh, the Hart School of Music, uh, which was the first school I attended at the time. And uh, when I was at Hart, I studied with Robert Black, uh, who's an incredibly seasoned teacher who graduated from Hart himself and was a solo player that premiered a lot of new compositions, what is New York City-based ensemble called Bang on a Can All-Stars. Uh, what I appreciated most from studying with Robert Black was how incredibly multifaceted he was as a musician. Impressive playing ability, knowledgeable about all the composers we studied together, and had a very extensive, extensive knowledge on new music. But Mr. Black also knew a lot about the business of music, how to sell yourself, how to market yourself, how to never ever doubt your abilities at any given moment as a musician, and how to keep yourself open to new opportunities and not just put all your eggs into one basket. But, you know, just like my teacher Robert Black, you know, found his niche in contemporary music, I knew that, you know, I had my own niche to pursue. And for me, that was orchestral playing and orchestral music you know, symphony orchestra playing, and, you know, that's what, a little, that's what, you know, got me to apply for graduate school in Boston, and around sophomore year of undergrad, I remember having a bass lesson in New Jersey with a, with Jeremy McCoy of the Metropolitan Opera Orchestra, a uh, phenomenal orchestra as well, and my bass playing uh, at the time was at best mediocre for the standards of conservatory students studying in places like New York City and Boston. So during my final two years of undergrad at Hart, leading up to my graduate school auditions, uh, I practiced like an animal and anywhere between four to ten hours a day, every single day, including weekends, even on days that I had classes and rehearsals, and I completely transformed my playing in those two years and was even starting to play professionally around Connecticut and perform as a substitute for several of the orchestras in the area, several of the orchestras within the state, ensembles such as Waterbury Symphony Orchestra, New Britain Symphony, Wallingford Symphony Orchestra. So when I found out that I made it into Boston Conservatory and that I would be studying with Lawrence Wolf, assistant principal bass of the Boston Symphony Orchestra, 
I was jaw dropped and just overwhelmed with joy at the moment to st uh, study with my dream teacher. Uh, a musician I truly, uh, you know, truly believe is a complete genius and a profound artist. And indeed, you know, he was the same way as a teacher as I expected him to be. And he wasn't just a teacher. He was a mentor and he was the ultimate troubleshooter and could instinctively determine in the simplest way how to correct a small issue in your playing and would make a radical difference in the way you played the entire piece. So here in the Boston area, you know, a lot of students study with me because they're confident that I can help them succeed and that I can pass on the knowledge of my formal training as well as pass on some of the tricks that help me to succeed within, within such a short time span. Uh, in the past year alone, two of my high school students won auditions into undergraduate music colleges. Um, they'll be majoring in music performance, uh, music education. Both of these students, um, they, had, they have both had prior years of formal training, but they, they didn't start out on the level that was necessary to win their auditions. You know, both sets of parents coincidentally, uh, coincidentally reached out to me just three months before their audition dates and asked me to help them with their college auditions, uh, their college audition repertoire, and that was a really tall order for me. But in those three months, I helped both students, you know, catch up the speed. Uh, I hope both students get their technique up, you know, to win the auditions. And after years of neglect from their former private teachers, I mean, some of these, you know, players that, you know, some of these uh, students that study with me had, you know, five, six years of prior lesson instruction. And, you know, I'm surprised, you know, that it's such a slow process up until that point. But, you know, somehow I'm able to, you know, tell them, you know, or show them things in their playing, you know, that really resonate with them. And, you know, they learn you know, in such a quick, you know, you know, in such, in such a quick, you know, in such a quick time span, uh, I'm always, you know, flattered by that. And uh, I, every single lesson, um, you know, I bring optimism, knowledge, talent, and energy to every single lesson that I teach. I see potential in every single student, no matter how they perform for me on the first lesson. I don't want my students to ever see me as a status quo teacher. I want them to see me as someone who is an integral part of their growth as a musician, uh, as someone who is um, influential in helping them to succeed, and as someone who has inspired them to find real joy and love for orchestral playing. I mean, that's really what it's all about in the end. It's about finding joy and love for you know, what you're doing, regardless if it's for a career, regardless if it's you're going to college for it, regardless if you're, you know, looking to get a music scholarship but pursuing another major, whether you're, you know, for, you know, you were previously on the bass guitar and now you want to pick up the bass and start playing orchestral music. Uh, every single reason, it, it's all about the love and joy of, you know, playing the instrument. Uh, you know, local high schools and youth orchestra programs around Boston are now reaching out to me and asking me to run bass classes so that I can help the section members polish up, you know, their repertoire that they're working on for a concert, for a special event. Maybe the school's taken the, the, the students to Carnegie Hall or something to perform. Uh, you know, they, they want to brush up, you know, and run sectionals. And, you know, they call me and, you know, I help the bassists, you know, get up to speed and, you know, give them some insight on how they can improve the excerpts they're working on. Uh, so every t student, I bring optimism, knowledge, talent, energy, uh, you know, it, 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 all those things, you know, uh, I believe resonate with my students in every single lesson. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Like this video, uh, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel of course, and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone, and thanks for watching.